since 1987, and we are going to talk about Raising Arizona here on the Nick Uncaged podcast. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. sorry, I'm excited. Uh, are you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For this movie or for the podcast? Both. Okay. Both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, the movie, I, I really enjoyed it. I did, so. Um, to start off, first thing. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. so first impressions. <laughs> What uh? Well, what, what stands out about this well, movie? John Goodman. Yes. Yes. That is, when I saw John yes. Goodman, I knew this was this was gonna be good. Oh, I didn't know man. he was in it. Not yet. Me, oh, yeah, me either. And I was super stoked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. In fact, in my notes, I have John Goodman exclamation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah me too. Uh, yeah. John. I put a smiley face next to John Goodman. Uh, I guess that's the same. <laughs> Well, uh, wait, yeah, I, oh, I put it. Come yeah, on, yeah, come oh, on, bro. Ther- therapy. John Goodman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so two, yeah. two exclamation points and a question mark. Because I, I wasn't sure. 100%. 100%. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it was John Goodman. I wasn't sure if it was John Goodman. Yeah, yeah. When they first showed him, you're yeah. just like, you, they just go by him. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Was that John Goodman? Uh, and it was. It was. Pretty stoked. Oh, uh I'm also slightly fighting a hangover today, so I'm going to crack these open right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, Perfect. What, what beer are we drinking? Uh, we're drinking Founders KBS, the uh, <coughs> Kentucky <laughs> bourbon stout. Oh. Now, for the non-beer drinkers, because you both are very... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic. Uh, wow, wow, wow. You, oh, that's got to be lovely for headphone listeners. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are very much into the beer world. Uh, what... Is this the, like the super fancy beer that's limited? Yes. Why so is it limited? Why are people going crazy for yeah, this beer? Yeah, it's a seasonal... It's a seasonal beer. So yeah. it's like kind of like... um. We can equate it to like Goose Island, uh, Bourbon County, or yeah. you know, oh, Three okay. Floyds, Dark yeah. Lord Day, which yeah. Chris and I are going to. Yes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a seasonal thing. And actually, um, I went to Michigan, was that two weekends ago? Yes. <laughs> and actually i so we went to founders i'm wearing the shirt wow i'm kind of like a corporate whore right now yeah what's going on man hey <laughs> we are not sponsored by founders but hey founders yeah if you wanna sponsor <laughs> um so we were going there and then also we realized it was saint patrick's day weekend so Ooh, being, oh, yeah, that yeah. Was kinda rough. but yeah but no but i had this year's kbs before like it was nationally yeah yeah distributed was it fantastic distributed. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's great. Oh, my You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the way you look. <laughs> You're gonna love it. But yeah. Okay. Sorry. Continue. But yeah, I'm fighting a hangover. That's why I'm opening this now. Yeah. yeah, so. yeah. Um. Oh, John Goodman. Yes. 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 Um, he is legitimately the only person that is likable in this movie. I I I forgot where I wrote that down. But yeah, none of these characters are likable, like, right? In any way. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you, okay, I see what you guys are saying, and also you, accents they're, they're, everywhere. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, great accents. I, I see what you're saying. Whether they're not like they're not likable, but I mean they have their, they have charm. Like, uh, they have charm to them. No, who has charm? <laughs> yeah, they, they all do. Like the way like Nicholas Cage. Okay, he it starts off. He's the, the burglar. He goes to convenience stores. But he's always just like he always. It seems like he wants to be better than he is. It seems like he does. Like he falls back to um, robbing convenience stores. Like it's, it's not like yeah. what he wanted. So it's like there's charm. It's like oh, look at him. He's trying to do good. The game, no, he's always trying to be worse. Yeah. Well, because, oh, it's because, it's, both, because his life was falling apart, and so he was going back to what he knew. <laughs> but when he so, but when he went to go buy the diapers. Yeah, it wasn't even a se- it w- like it even was it, it wasn't even a second thought that he was gonna rob it. Well, he but he never that was never part of his plan. It's because of what was going on in his life that it was just like you know what everything's falling apart. Like I that's it. I'm just going. Also, he's not place. trying to be good. The whole plot of the movie is him stealing a baby. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not saying he's good. I'm just saying he has charm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, I, okay, let's go from the beginning so people could understand that I'm right. <laughs> and uh, well, and before we do this, uh, for me, the biggest takeaway is 
I feel like this movie is noticeably is an assault on the hearing uh, hearing drums. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. yes. There is a lot of like banjo yodeling. Oh my god! Yeah. And so on top of yodeling, like soundtrack, there's also a lot of yelling. Yeah, just in oh, general. Yes. Just as, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yeah. Oh, when that fight between Goodman and Cage. Oh my god, <laughs> that was dying. Like, I mean, I think I have numerous uh, notes in here that yeah, say yeah, so much yeah. yelling. Yeah. I don't usually laugh out loud to movies, especially when I'm by myself. <laughs> I don't like I watch a movie it's funny I'm just like okay watching <laughs> this like, you go, okay. <laughs> well yeah because you really, ha- you really have to like be funny for me to laugh at a movie sure I laughed out you loud know, okay so there, there were points points so there were just, oh. a couple moments where I did I did <laughs> yeah I'm like <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, so do we want to get to those moments or do, can I just talk about the moments that made me chuckle yeah <sighs> Tell us okay, one. Tell we, us one. You know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've earned it. Uh, when they, so one that made me laugh was when they were at the bank, when John Goodman and his buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. And yes. he's like, he's like, we're on the towers. <laughs> They're like, we're on the floor. <laughs> you, you told us to get down. Yeah. So that was pretty <laughs> Get up. Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. And I'll leave you a cliffhanging for the <laughs> other one. <laughs> like but yeah. Um. So the movie starts off with. The, it was bizarre, like this cold opening, mm-hmm. which w- was forever. It seemed like, yeah. So it like the pacing's really weird, yeah. and yeah. he's like narr- Nicholas Cage is narrating with his mm-hmm. awesome accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't his know why it's his hair, his hair was great too. Uh, it was just yeah. feathered, just poof. Yes. So I'm uh. always trying to find a common. Uh, Element between all of Nicolas Cage's movies, right? Like something that's the same in every one. Mm-hmm. And oh, <laughs> I win. <laughs> uh, Scared me. And yeah, I feel like accents might be one. Yeah, him having an accent. Yeah, I feel like even in Valley Girl, he was doing something yeah, just weird. Like, yeah, different with his voice isn't the same. <gasps> Holy shit! Wait a second. So he has a very similar accent in Con Air to this movie. To this one? Yeah. Do you think it, it's it's probably the same? It's the same, the same guy, guy, right? Same, yeah, the same guy. No, it's yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've definitely. actually never seen because so, he's a criminal, so it's yeah. the same guy. It's mm-hmm. High, which mm-hmm. is the weirdest name yeah. ever. Um, Herbert. Oh, but his but, middle initial is him yeah. High. Herbert. <laughs> Herbert. Herbert. <laughs> Fine, High, which I think is neat. <laughs> what? It's cool, cool for the movie. Okay. I like how her um his desert flower. Is named Ed. Ed, hi, and yes, I'm loving to call their desert Which, flower. I'm like, I gotta mute that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so, like, you know, he keeps calling her Ed, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what's Ed short for? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, like, I forget. What, I like, feel bad for her. I'm like, Edward, that's that's not good. <laughs> yeah, uh, my I progressive was, parents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was trying to figure out what Ed was short for, and I was like. Uh, what was my guess? I had, I wrote it down. <laughs> well, what did it turn out to be? There, I see it. It's right it's, at the end. Where? Up top? Like um, your fourth oh, up yeah. top. <laughs> up top. Ed, oh, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, oh, is it short for Edna? Oh, oh and I'm yeah, like, well, that makes sense. sense. But it's not. No. It's short. Yeah. For, oh my God. Say it? Uh, is, wait, where is it? You have so uh, many notes. Uh, I do. Uh, say it. Do you know it? Yeah. Tell me. So I told you no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the whole time. Edwina. Yeah, I've never even heard that name before. But I don't know. I might have back in the day. When you lived in the South? Or? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so it starts, the movie starts off with this cold opening. Yeah, and like I said, the pacing's really weird, but it's talking about his life of crime and yeah. why he keeps on ending up yeah. in the slammer and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> Um, man, let everyone mute their phones. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, here. So, someone talk about the beginning while I mute my phone. Yeah, so it's basically a convenience store to getting arrested, to getting his picture taken by Ed, and he's like, right, first time he sees her, he's like, I'm in love. Like, that, yeah. yeah, he's like, I am in love with this woman. Sh- she is a police officer. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Oh, so crazy. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> the first... No, I totally forget. Is she responding to them robbing the place, or is it after he's already arrested? It's after he's already arrested okay. because she's because um, she, all she's, she's doing, doing is the mug the, shots. Yeah, just the yep. mug shots. 
But you can tell the first time he's giving her smiles like, yes. oh, hey. And she's like kind of interested. Right. But that's at the time she shows her fiance. Remember? Yes. Yeah. I, I love how they say fiance. My oh, fiance. My fiance. <laughs> so and then the next I think it's the next time he gets arrested is when she's bawling, just crying. Right. Yes. And uh, she's like, my fiance broke up with me. Yes. And he's like, you kill that man. Mm-hmm. That he's a whatever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> um, so I didn't know it. Like I saw it the first time. I was like, wait a second. Did I see that? Rewound it. Played it again. The very, like one of the very first, the first time he's arrested and like he gets his mugshot taken. <clears throat> they take his photo and he walks away and I thought at first he just kind of like he said something to Ed and then like kind of grabbed his crotch. No, he straight up like slaps it as hard as he can. I was like, who does that? And how do you not hurt himself? Like, it's not like, a, hey, you want some of this? It's like, yeah, no, nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. you're like saying it. It's like it's in my head now. You're getting this. Yeah. Oh, Boy. man. Oh, my God. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That was great. Um, so that's. So is it still in the cold opening where. They get engaged. I believe it is because I think it's the last. Oh, no. She's, no. Doing, she's doing a mug shot for yes. somebody else. Yes. And then that's when he runs in and he's like, he's like, I'm a free man. I can do the blah, 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 whatever. Well, and then. Wait. Oh, no, that's no. It's got to be after because. Because <gasps> well, you're right. Yeah. Because right, she's doing the fingerprints. Yes. And that's when he's like, yeah, talking to her and like, yeah, yeah, because it's it's where they have the because they're like doing like group therapy. <laughs> group ther- <laughs> the clock is it. Wants ah, um, it. Because uh, they're doing the group therapy thing, and yeah. then that's where we see our favorite character in this movie, uh, yes. John Goodman. Yes, <gasps> that one dude that his bunkmate, the guy that was on top. Remember yes. that part when he's sleeping and he's like, he's like, growing up, we would eat like beef and that we didn't have beef we'd eat chicken yes we didn't have chicken we'd eat crawdads if we didn't have crawdads we'd eat sand yes yeah. I'm like, yeah. like, he's like sand <laughs> he's like we ate sand uh-huh. I'm like oh yeah. I was just so over that scene <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god but uh but I wasn't 100% sure if it was John Goodman at first yeah me too yeah. that's the other thing this movie is full of weird camera angles mm-hmm. lots of like yeah down like shot from the ground up kind of mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I didn't like now, that did the, uh, Coen Brothers do that in their like recent movies I don't because I, I know I, I know I've seen not as noticeable right I think this, this is their beginning they're still figuring yeah. out what they want to do the, uh, so I didn't notice the uh, camera angles as much i noticed obviously the music because it was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 lots of that perfect yeah <laughs> that's most of the movie yeah, yeah it's about uh, 75 percent of the movie yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't get flagged for just playing all raising Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have the Foley artist oh. here today. Um, <laughs> where was I going with that? <laughs> oh, the lighting in this is kind of weird. The light yes. is weird. A lot of it's close very uh, silhouette or yeah. is that the, what I'm thinking? I don't know. I don't it's know. very just unnatural. Like yeah. it's clearly like someone lit this. It doesn't yeah. look very natural. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I, no, I, I, I think we're still on the opening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it well, they, there's a lot of close ups, too, during it. A yeah. lot of close ups yes. throughout the movie. Um, okay, so I think after the, after the cold opening. Um, so I think this is just before. It's still the beginning, but basically. Right. This is. I was like super confused by the tone of this movie and like didn't know what genre it was. Because oh wait no Ed uh, sorry God I forgot what happens but basically Ed's like oh no like I'm barren uh, it's a very yes. sad moment yeah. no I'm sorry yeah. that's still pre credits yeah. yeah yeah you're right so like it's this very like you think emotional scene where she's right. like oh I can't have kids oh no and that's you know they want to raise a family. <laughs> yeah. But like while she's saying that there's like wacky banjo music <laughs> wacky in the background and the doctor <laughs> was pumped. <laughs> the doctor's face he's like smiling holding the paper it's like no baby yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's like oh god oh. nothing in here yeah, yeah. <laughs> um he uh he gets a job so when he gets out of jail he gets a job as a steel worker mm-hmm. so yeah more uh very dirty makeup yeah that's a reoccurring thing yeah. and the one guy that was standing there talking to him the whole time he's like not bill parker <laughs> 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 um 
I love it. And that's what they also, yeah. So they also find out that Ed, uh, she can't have kids. Yeah, no kids. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, now now it's the credits. And I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Um, and I love how it's like raising Arizona. And then uh, just above or below the title, it says Nicolas Cage. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like first yeah. thing I was like, yes, <laughs> we're in. Um, so the one of the first things I forget, I can't even remember the context of the scene, but Nicolas Cage is wearing a calculator watch. <laughs> Don't oh, remember. oh I, I was pretty stoked. You know, oh. <laughs> no, I was pretty stoked about it. <laughs> stoked enough to write it down. Oh, so. man. Um, yeah, so they're watching TV and they find out the Arizona family who mm-hmm. owns the world's the furniture. Yeah. Yeah. The world's oh, largest, yeah. Un, largest unpainted furniture yeah, store. Yeah. Unpainted Arizona. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, so they had. How many kids was it? Eight? Well, Seven? no, five. 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 I, have I remember names. seeing five in the crib. Okay. No, wait, or one, something two, like that. Three. Yeah, because there was Harry, Barry, Larry, Gary, and Nathan, Nathan Jr. Jr. Yeah. Yeah, and Gary spelled two R's. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty great. Um, so they see, and they also see in the newspaper that, you know, they're overwhelmed by how many. Yeah, yeah. Well, five babies. Yeah. Yes. So. Eight is enough. That's true. It's a show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so then they're like, oh, we'll be doing a good deed by stealing one of the babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they they go there and they... He goes in the one time. The first time he goes in, he's testing them. Yeah, what yeah, was, was he like, doing? He, he was like, like checking the weight. Yeah, he's and like then at a grocery store. One down, like well, the, he would put one down like on the ground. And grab another one. The other one on the ground will like get into hijinks and hide oh, in the yeah, closet. Yes. And they like run out, like run out in the hallway. And he's like, oh, babies. <laughs> I got a oh. And he would just run and put them back. Yeah. And then he <clears> left. <throat> like, but then like, cause, cause he would make it like their noises be happening. And the pa- their parents were downstairs and the guy, the, the whatever his name, whatever, Arizona. Yeah. The dad. Yeah. The dad yeah, was like, oh, Nathan. Oh, no. No, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. yeah, yeah. He tells his wife. Hence Nathan Jr. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, oh, go up and check the kids. Like, she's like, okay. So she goes up, and like, right when she like gets up the stairs, he grabs the baby out of the oh, hallway yeah, yeah. so she doesn't yes. see that. And then she walks in the room, and all five babies are sitting in their bed, just like staring at her. And he's gone. He's out the window. He left. Yeah. And he runs back to Ed, and she's pissed. Um, she is pissed. Also, during that scene, speaking of close ups, I do made a note where they like zoomed in on a baby and it's just like drooling. I'm like, yeah. oh, uh, Brian's not going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate babies. <laughs> oh, Especially when they leak from orifices. <laughs> I love that. I um, hate babies 2018. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Mrs. Arizona, she looks like. A lady from a food product, and I can't think. I think it's a coffee, but it's like an old lady who's like, mm. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Well, she seems like she'd be like an old, like, like an old lady advertisement type thing. So yeah, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't. But it's I a can't product. Think of, yeah, it's gonna bug me. Yeah, I should have looked it up, but she I'm, looks just like her. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> showing Nathan Junior in the house. What? Man, I should, I should really, when I make well, notes, I should. And then, well, the thing is, she yells at him. She's like, no, we're getting a baby. We're doing this. This is, this is it's finalized. Like, she's yeah. rolling up the window, the crank, the old crank. Yes. Rolling that window up. He goes back in, gets a baby. She's like, well, which one? He's like, I don't know. Maybe Nathan Jr. He didn't even know. Oh, yeah, dad. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's holding the baby. And she, is this when she's bawling? Which is like, I love yes, him yes. so much. I yes. think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it was, it was, she's just like this crocodile tears. Just like I'm. Just I was. That's one of the times where I was just dying. Yeah. Because she's just so overwhelmed, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah. Like hey, we got a baby. It's like, oh god. Yeah. And I wrote down. I was like, oh my god. Does Nicolas Cage have competition for overacting in this movie? <laughs> oh oh yeah, yeah. Well, a, a lot of them went yeah. above when, and beyond. This is a weird question. So when she was doing that accent, clearly that, that's not her natural accent. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> what accent? <laughs> but did you notice her mouth would do weird formations? I was going to say that. Her like lower jaw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so she can do the accent. Her well, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Man, what's going on? Like she's really trying hard for this yeah. one. Yeah, really milking it there. Um, so they take the baby back home and they're like showing the baby. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. He's just like pointing the, the yeah. baby at the sign up, welcome home. Yeah. 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 
And they're like, let's <laughs> tea, let <tea> <laughs> This is where we sit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, they show the baby. <laughs> they're showing the baby around the house and then they like take a family photo and stuff like that. And then uh, I believe the next scene is the outside of the prison. Yes. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> yeah. oh God, it's rain. Now, it's Arizona, but it's raining. Yes. And so I've heard it like, should have been called what? raining Arizona. Oh, do do I that just it. sounds like the sequel when the baby's all grown up and he's like raining <laughs> over the set town. <laughs> <laughs> bow me, bow me. <laughs> but then, when, it, when it rains in Arizona, it pours. It pours. Like it's crazy. So, like it, that the dirt becoming like that, that, mud, like that muddy, that that yeah. is, that's a thing. And I thought it was awesome, man. Now that I think about it, like raining Arizona, <laughs> God, they keep me like a terror. I mean, this is a very, this is a pretty dramatic thing. Yeah, like, I, I just love. You can tell when he's coming. Okay, so John Goodman and whatever the other guy's name well, is. Yes, this is like this is they're coming out like they're breaking out. Of prison. Yes, they're breaking yes. out. Yes, and they tunnel. Like how far was it? Like a quarter of a mile away from the prison. Yeah, they were they were they quite were a bit away good, from the yeah, fence. From the fence. Yeah, and they dig up under the ground. Yes. And I just love how he's he's screaming yes. the entire uh, time yes. breaking yes. through. Like, oh! I was, and the dirt, you could tell that it's not dirt. Yeah. It's, oh, like, yeah. it's like it's like foam. It's like boom, where he's coming yeah. out. He's coming out of like a hole with foam, a hole with foam around him. And I'm this is the best. Well, that's oh, the thing. God. So like when I saw John Goodman, look, so we see John Goodman in that therapy scene and I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, you know, it's just, I thought that would just be like a cameo. Yeah. So when I found out it was him, I was super <laughs> yeah, pumped. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, I, I put, yes, John Goodman, <laughs> man, mud man, yelling. <laughs> yeah, he yells for a, a good, like two yeah. minutes straight. Yes. It was, yeah. And then he, his, his friend, for some reason, his friend went in and asked like, I he yeah, because he grabbed him by the leg and yeah. he's, just, he's like, yeah, and pulled him out of there, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> um. So then they, so those two, they go to like a gas station and they're putting a shit ton of fucking yeah, like pomade or something in their hair, and then they find a station wagon to steal. How did they wait that pomade? They used so, so much. much. Oh, dude, it was crazy. crazy. The last, like, right at the end when John Goodman, you saw it, he took his hand, he, like, scooped, like, a, a handful and just went like this. And you saw all the white. Uh-huh. It, was probably, it was probably grease, actually. No, I think about it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Gross. Like, Oh, no, it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, they, stole this, the, the, they stole that station wagon. How'd hmm. they find out where Ed lived? Or hi. I mean, I'm sorry. The same yeah, thing. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. I, I, see, I'm curious. Did High? Did he have that place beforehand? Like when he know. was like before he like asked Ed to. I, that's the only thing that made sense. He asked Ed, "Hey, let's get married." But he had that beforehand. That hmm. way, they had a place. That's only that just makes. That's like I don't know. Just well, seemed to make the most regardless, sense. Regardless, <clears throat> the guys go to his place. Yes. And you know, like, and they kind of well, they knock on the door, like, police, police, yeah. Open oh, up, police. Yeah. and they're all just like, because they then then Nicholas Cage thinks that they're coming for the baby, yeah, which yes. they stole, yeah, 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 and then so he starts like, it's funny because he says that he never um, loads his guns when he goes in to rob the convenience stores because mm-hmm. that would be like, <clears throat> like whatever. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's a different crime. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. But when he's when this happens. All, he's loading all his guns with ammo. So he does have ammo. Yes. So, and then he goes to the front door, opens it up, and then. Yeah. And it, oh, it's two it's, o'clock in the morning, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they're still covered in mud. <laughs> yeah. Maybe mud. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> when they sit down, now they're, like you said, they are, for their, like, pretty much shoulders up, they're fine. Super clean, pomade hair, yes. looking good. John Goodman's got the the curly in the front. Yeah, everything else just is dirt. Yes, and then they're, they're sitting there on the couch, like on top of stuff. Yes, <laughs> and she's like, "What's that smell?" Uh-huh. 
like a John Goodman. Oh, we hit a sewer line. Yeah. <laughs> yes, list. that's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. So it's, just, it's not mud. It's just, it's just shit all <laughs> over them. And they just sit on okay. their couch. And it's totally like, cool oh, with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick Cage, he's just sitting there. He's like, yeah, what? what? I don't see a problem. I'm pretty sure he hugs him at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because the jungle grabbed him in the beginning, I think. It was spinning him around, hugging yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, gross. <laughs> So, you know, he so Ed is not happy, you know. Yeah, she wants them basically out of there yes, right then. Because, because they like, broke out. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, oh. Is she still a police officer at this point? No. She, she, re- she resigned when they got married. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So he's like, oh, it'll only be a couple days, you know, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And then uh, he, so they go to bed and Nick Cage talks about this dream that he has about a lone biker the, yeah, or like, something like a, of the end, apocalypse end of world type thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. And so it shows this biker who kind of looks like the lead singer from Mastodon a little bit. He's got like oh. this crazy hair, two, two shotguns yeah. and he's riding a bike. Also very dirty. Makeup. Yes. <laughs> also very dirty. And he proceeds to destroy little animals. Yes. Uh, I think, uh, he like throws a grenade at a rabbit. A rabbit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then like he shoots. Uh, there's something else. He like shoots a frog and yeah. then like throws a match like on a like on a, a sunflower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, well, he's a tough guy. Yo, yeah. yeah. And he was what tough guys do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> throw grenades at rabbits. <laughs> and, uh, that entertained me quite a bit. Um. So that. He reminded me of the guy from Revenge of the Nerds. Ogre. Ogre. Yeah. yeah. I had the same thought. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, that ogre? Yes. And then I'm just like in my head, I'm just going nerds yeah. the whole time. <laughs> so yeah, he has this dream about this. Yeah, this guy. And then it cuts to a scene to where the uh, all these reporters are interviewing Nathan Arizona. Yeah. About yeah. the baby being mm. stolen. So did <laughs> anyone else notice the reporter that's in very front? And I'm pretty sure it was a woman with a mustache. No. Oh, I didn't see or that. Or it was a very effeminate man. Yeah. No, huh. but that I now I really want to go back and just it's, see he, that. Yeah, it's he, she is in the very front. You only see her for a second. He, yeah. Uh, for a second. So. Huh. Oh, man. Yeah. A little Easter egg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I got to look at that. <laughs> I just, I loved how they were asking him the questions and he's answering them. And then when like they, he's done, he, he like promotes his store. Yes. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, we have all these things going on. I don't, never mind, my my kid got kidnapped. <laughs> Go to my store and buy furniture. <laughs> so was one of the FBI agents, was one of them Will Arnett? Like the one who like is like really grilling him? Huh. I, I, it really looks like Will Arnett. I don't know. Like a young Will Arnett. Uh, I'll look up the cast really quickly. Um. Mm. So then it's... So then it goes back to, I mean, what I have next is it goes back to another scene of the biker and he's starting to head towards, I think, uh, unpainted Arizona. Yeah, he's heading that way. Well, that's go back just a little bit when he's when he's with the police and he goes remember Nathan he goes on that rampage telling the cops like the reason you don't have a lead is because you're sitting on your ass and all yes. this stuff and that one guy is like maybe it's aliens and he's like you don't tell Mrs. Arizona that she's <laughs> she's losing yeah. enough sleep and I'm like telling her telling the wife that aliens took her baby would be ridiculous but for some reason she would believe it it's just like okay aliens okay yeah. that's what it was the whole time um so the biker, uh, I wrote his name down somewhere. Ogre. Um, he, Ogre. <laughs> Ogre. Yeah, nerds, yeah. He finally makes it to Unpainted Arizona, and it does a close-up of his tattoo, and his tattoo says, Mama didn't love me? <laughs> 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 Which, interesting choice. I mean, it could be true. Who knows? Uh, the biker bounty hunter is Randall Tex Cobb. No, well, one of the, no, one of the FBI agents. Oh. Randall oh, Tex- no, actually, no, that's I, I lied. That's name. the actor's name. Randall Tex oh, okay. Cobb plays Leonard Smalls, who is the Leonard biker Smalls. bounty hunter. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was like Leonard Salt at first. I'm like, that's a weird <laughs> fucking name. Nice uh, name, bro. And I don't think, you said it's, you think it's Will Arnett? Mm-hmm. And it was such a small role, he might not be credited for it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to Google. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Will Arnett raising Arizona. Yeah. And nothing. Uh, Thing comes up. Maybe it's not. Real nice. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's First fine. result is Will Arnett Archives, Raising Arizona Kids Magazine. <laughs> mm, weird. 
Did they make a magazine? <laughs> For the <laughs> The movie was so popular. <laughs> um, so then it cuts to it cuts back to Ed in High's place, and it shows John Goodman and his buddy eating cereal, cornflakes. Mm-hmm. What do they call him? He called him a specific name, like breakfast flakes or something like that. Oh, he, he, didn't didn't say, that. he didn't say cornflakes. He called them like these breakfast flakes are great, or like or like like corn something. It was. I'm just like I never heard him call something like that. It's very strange. I liked it though. More importantly, did you see the amount of sugar? That yes. They were? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just loaded it with sugar. I love. I just was. I couldn't stop staring at uh, John Goodman's chin because he had milk running. Uh, like, right here. Catch, oh, and I'm just like the whole time. He doesn't. He doesn't get rid of it the entire time. <sighs> if I had like, every time I get if I'm eating cereal, and I get milk there. I'm like right away, even if I'm like mid chew, I'm like, I have to get rid of it. And he just, Man, oh, I haven't that's had c- commitment. Yeah. That is commitment. I haven't had cereal in forever. Yeah. I actually bought a, would you buy? I bought a box of the Frosted Flakes Lucky Charms. Oh, it's a, yeah, they do Frosted Flakes and they put them Lucky Charms marshmallows in it. Inter- oh my God. Kellogg s- does that or some guy in the back of the store does some guy that? in the back <laughs> of the <laughs> store. <laughs> there there yeah. you go. No, you'll find it at, at your your local grocery store. <laughs> it is it is so good. Uh, he calls them uh, uh, cereal flakes, by the way. Cereal flakes. Awful good cereal flakes. Oh, Actually, one of you. my favorite things that I liked to mix when I was younger was uh, Honey Nut Cheerios and Cocoa Krispies. Ooh. Wait, that sounds good. Cheerios. Cocoa Krispies. Huh. That's a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, how much sugar do you think's in that fucking, the Frosted oh, Flakes? It's, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah, okay. They use that Zenitol or whatever. It's not real sugar, so it's okay. It's oh, healthy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and no trans fat, so it's healthy too. Uh, uh, yeah, that's how everything works. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you around. <laughs> um, They're up here, buddy. So, All that knowledge. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Ed is like, hey, shouldn't you be telling your friends to get going? And yeah. and then he's like, well, maybe I should go too. Because, oh, because it's, 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 it's a a co-worker's coming over, right? It's, it's boss, his foreman. Oh, okay. His foreman, because mm-hmm. she she wanted to have um, decent folk. Yes. To be with, not these, the uh, the criminals, as she'd call them. Yes. So, and he's like, he's like, would you, he, and he asks them, hey, would you mind bugging out, you know, for a few hours? No, she, did she ask him? Somebody asked them two to get out. And then that's when, like, she yelled. She got upset, left with, like, went to the other room with Nathan Jr. Yeah. And that's when John Goodman started. His instigation, his so uh, who wears the pants oh, in this yes. family? He's very good in yeah. this movie. Dude, John like, Goodman's the shit. Yeah, he, and he like he just like pokes at stuff that he knows. Yep. will get on Nick Cage's like like side like it's like oh, what am I trying to the word? I'm thinking like trying weedle, to yeah, yeah, under skin, yeah, type thing. Toward like Nick Cage, like yeah, yeah, and then he'll go and John Goodman's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever see a uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane? I loved it. I want. I want to see it, but the, I heard, okay, so I was like, I'm going to watch this, but then I heard, oh, it's not a Cloverfield movie. Don't watch it. Doesn't I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, eh. And then, like, uh, and then I heard, well, then it's not very good. Then I heard it's great. I liked it then a lot. Then I heard it's not very good, so I just haven't given it a shot yet. Yeah. Mm. It's really old, only like the last 10 minutes are a Cloverfield movie. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I, I really and should because I love John uh, Goodman. Uh, never mind. I was going to go into a tangent about the newest Cloverfield movie, but not right, relevant, so <laughs> I'll wait till afterwards. Did <laughs> have Nicholas Cage? Yeah, Don't yeah. care. <laughs> Tangents are my yeah. job. <laughs> um, so the foreman and his wife come over with the kids. Or I'm sorry, wait, but before that, <sighs> you see the world's craziest shoehorn. Did you guys notice that? No. Yes. It's like yeah. a shoehorn on a stick. That really sweet shoehorn. Yes. He didn't even that. need it for his shoes because you can tell there was so much space. <laughs> yes. For him to put his foot in the yes. shoe. But you know, he's a classy guy now, Nick Cage. Um so yeah, so the wife and the foreman show up. And their kids are like jumping on the car oh, and yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. And, oh my god. I mean, and so that's that's where I really came to the conclusion that I like I'm like all these people in this movie, with the exception of John Goodman, are fucking terrible. They're yes. all insane. Well, yeah. I'll agree that they're all insane people. Yes, yes. They're, all, they're all just crazy people. Um, yeah, like the kids yeah, are dead. Yeah, that drove me nuts. <laughs> the, yeah. one, the one kid that wrote fart. Fart. On yeah. the- <laughs> <laughs> That I popped me. I was dying. <laughs> you can write far than anything. I'll, you'll get me laughing. But then I think they're, I can't remember if they're outside or inside, but they're 
the the wife is putting mustard on the bread. Yeah, she doesn't stop. Dude. She squeezes and just goes. She's doing it like an ass. Yeah, using so so right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's spreading mustard like an asshole, dude. <laughs> I know. Dude, she's she's like, like, yeah. it gets on the crust. Dude, but it's like, like, okay, it's like, like you know, if you're like pouring a bunch of shots, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. No, she's doing it with fucking mustard. <laughs> I'm like across a bunch of bread. I'm like, what a fucking dick. Like, who does that? You know. That upset well, me. I just. I loved how the part, like, and Nick Cage is sitting across from them, and she's telling her, oh, did he get his dip t- the dip test or whatever? Oh, yeah, that yeah. That thing? Did and he get all, this? Yeah. And then she would go, did we, honey? And Nick Cage is like, no. <laughs> and then she'd be like, well, he has to, like, is it a pediatrician? And then Edwina is like, oh, I don't know. Do we, no, do we have a pediatrician? And he's like, I don't rather think so, or something like mm. that. And then she's like, oh, she gets upset. It's like, she was like, she didn't think she was being a good enough mom. Like she didn't know what to do. Right. So she was like feeling bad, for like from the other mom telling her stuff, and then she was putting on Nick Cage and make him feel worse. Yes. About, that's the point. Like he starts feeling worse and worse. Mm-hmm. That's why he went and robbed again. He's not a good person. Yeah. I He's know you're trying saying, to sell it. He's not a good person. <laughs> I'm saying that, but each character has their own specific charm. That's all it is. Hmm. <sighs> Um, Unbelievable. So Ed and his boss like go for a walk out in the <laughs> desert. Well, well, they, they were there first talking and then the, the boss told the Pollock joke. Yes. Oh, yeah. and, and then he goofed it up the way he said it the he, first time. Yeah. He's like, how many like he's like, what is it, like how many light bulbs does it take for a Pollock to like put it? He's like, three. And he's he, like and then Nick Cage just stares at him. And he's like, oh, I didn't tell that one, Ryan. <laughs> it's like, what? Um, <laughs> so so it comes up that, like, he's like, oh, you know, your wife is pretty, you know? And then. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Oh, holy fuck. I almost forgot about <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like, well, scene. yeah. So, so then, <sighs> like, Nicholas Cage. So, like, the foreman, like, kind of insinuates, like, hey, we should wife swap, you know? Yeah. Not like the terrible show wife swap, but, you know, like, hey, <laughs> we should swap wives, you know, with swingers. <laughs> Wife swap. Um, <laughs> God warrior. Um, so then he punches him, mm-hmm. and then the boss starts running away. And I got super angry because they did that fucking like running into like a thing gag. Because he like runs right into a casket. It's like, oh, oh, boing. Yeah. And I'm like, really? We're doing like, I'm like, first off, fire that fucking writer, whoever. <laughs> like, how does it get to the point to where. A, you write that joke, but then what kind of assholes do you work with? Yeah. Like, hey, that's pretty funny. Like, <laughs> we should keep that in like, there. Really, let's keep this in the movie. So I was not happy about that. <laughs> I like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then they need to go get diapers. Uh, this was a whole like diaper montage type thing. It took, it was a good like five to seven minutes. That thing. That Wasn't whole it? thing. That whole, that whole. Yeah. 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 But so they go to the convenience store. Well, this is what they knew was falling apart because they didn't do anything for the kid. Like they don't, they, they find this is when they realize that they don't know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> like what's falling apart? The family or the movie? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's when they realize like, we have no idea what we're doing with this. Why do we have this baby? I, I, I kind of start seeing that they're re- re- recognizing this. Yes. Um, because they're good people. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick Nick Cage puts on the the pantyhose, yeah, mm-hmm. and he's like, and he goes in there and well, he grabbed the pantyhose from inside. Oh, that's right. Because he, he tells her he's like, I'm going. To, he's like, the baby needs some huggies. Yes. So he goes inside and she's just like, whatever. Yeah. And he goes and he grabs the pantyhose out of the thing and he puts it on and he's like, I'm gonna need these here huggies yep. and everything you got in your register. <laughs> And the guy hits the silent alarm. And he's reading Jugs magazine. Yes. <clears throat> that was pretty great. Uh, I agree. <laughs> um, I just love how he's like so nonchalantly hits the silent alarm. Yes. And you think after all the times that Nick Cage has robbed this particular stop and shop. Uh, or the whatever short called? stop. Short stop. Oh, which was pretty clever. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he just hits it. And then like, all the, like right away you hear sirens pretty yes. much. It's, it's pretty pretty quick. Quick. Yeah. Yeah. So Ed takes off without Nick Cage in the car she, because she notices she sees him robbing and she's like yeah. she's like no yep. yeah takes off uh, and that's when Nick Cage looks and sees her leaving right 
and the <laughs> I don't know how soon it is, but the, the cops are like already shooting. Yeah. The guy is hanging out of the passenger window. Yeah. While yeah. the cop is going like 60 <laughs> miles an hour and just he's like just shooting. He, the cop falls out a few times. Yes. From how fast the guy's going. And I love the, the service guy at the convenience store with his huge gun. Yes. yes. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, I love that. Well, that and like. Because at one point, Nicolas Cage is standing still. I forgot if he's in the store or outside the store. Oh, he might be outside the store, like, being like, oh, no, she's not there. Oh, is that but, when the, the guy shoots him? Shoots but, at him. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. So he's yeah. just, like, standing there, like, not moving. And I think at this point, the clerk is shooting at him and the police are shooting yeah. at him. But no one's hitting him. Right. Well, you and see, he's, like, not, he's see not moving. Because <laughs> the door's open, you see him, and then you see a bullet hole go into the glass. Behind him, and he looks, he's like, Whoa! and he looks at the clerk, and the clerk, he's got his gun, he shoots again, a bullet hole right under, the guy was maybe four feet away from yeah. Nick Cage, mm-hmm. and then Nick Cage just takes off, the cops chase him, and then it just turns into, uh, like, uh, mm-hmm. ah. <clears throat> I do believe, this is where the yodeling starts, yes, which I was over pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. No, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, man. <clears throat> I got to find that album. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, why do I feel like I look? I try to look up the soundtrack? Because you love the yodeling. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, but the whole chase scene is just yeah. fucking insane. Just because there's so many. Oh, yeah. Dogs get involved. Yes. Women with their curlers in their hair still get involved. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It was great. Don't they, like, go through a random family's house at one yeah, point? Yeah. 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 And the cop chases them through the house. And the people in the <clears> house. Like man, yeah, regular day. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then and did anyone else notice like how the cop had like infinite bullets? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was and I loved how the did, did the clerk keep keep up with them. Yeah, yeah. I thought I the clerk he keep on chasing them too. I'm just like, you left your store. Uh, I, <laughs> other people rob it. Yeah. One thing I did like though was Nick Cage's running face. Oh, I don't know if I that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had no emotion the entire no, time. Zero emotion. He was being shot, and then when he got into the grocery store, remember the guy, the man, or whatever, at the grocery store had the shotgun? Remember that part? He's running through the grocery store, and then all of a sudden, like, the manager of the grocery, he gets up. Is this where he starts stealing? So, same chasing, but he grabs well, the second he, pair yeah, of Yeah, he loses the first pair of Huggies yeah. from the store, and so he gets the second pair of Huggies, yeah. and he's running through the aisles. The dogs are chasing him, the cops mm-hmm. in there, and all of a sudden, the manager of the grocery store pops up out of nowhere, has a shotgun, yes. and starts shooting at him. He's shooting his merchandise. Like he's shooting. Yeah. He's <clears throat> right. ruining his store, and Nick Cage, the entire time, not scared, not excited, until just straight, just going yes. straight. And then the cop is about to shoot him. He throws those pair of those things of Huggies at that cop. Mm-hmm. Why it's, does it have to be Huggies too? Like he's he walks, always, he, yeah, he passed by a bunch of yes. diapers and it's always Huggies. You won't know why? Name branding. That's why. Yep. Huggies paid them. <laughs> Behind the scenes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ruckus. <laughs> uh, and I also feel like during this chase scene, especially when he grabs the second pair of Huggies, there's more lots of screaming. Well, it's all the women in the grocery store. Yeah, yes. that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause um and you could all of them had the same pink curlers in their hair too. Yeah. Which is fantastic. <laughs> because that's what women do. They put curlers in their hair when they go grocery shopping. I pink. don't know if you knew that. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's even to this day it's a thing. And then what he catches and then what Nick Cage catches a ride with a trucker? Or what well, was yeah, it? He, he leaves that and there's just this guy he's out in the middle of the street and there's just this guy <laughs> driving a truck. And he sees Nick Cage in the middle of the street, and he starts screaming. Not Nick Cage, the guy driving the truck. He didn't have any lines. His lines were screamed. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, yeah there's more screaming. So he screamed, and then Nick Cage gets, he has the door open. He's like, old, he's like, start driving, old timer, or whatever. Yeah. Because he showed him the gun, and then he just took off. Like, he didn't even wait for Nick Cage to get in the truck. Right. He just took off. And then there were multiple times where the guy was going to crash, and he was just screaming the entire time. <laughs> just, oh. <clears throat> and that that, that kind of got on my nerves a little bit. The guy screaming. Oh, that got on nerves. Yeah, it was that. Uh, and then when they're driving, they pass by his wife. They love my wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then he eventually gets back in the car with. I think the truck was before the grocery store because I think he went out of the back of the grocery store, and that's where his wife was. Remember, he got out of a door. 
and his wife kind of like did like a, a like a U turn type thing and like skidded out, <gasps> and then he jumped. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait. It's oh big, no, something different. Well, no, it's, it's, it's a, a big jumble. In the tr- uh, yeah, because I remember him being in the truck. They passed by Ed. Yeah. yeah, and I forget what happens after that. Because there was some. Because I know that Ed picked him up, but he left a building. That's why I think the truck happened before the grocery store. Because remember when he was running away? How would he have ran all the way to a grocery store? Mm. I think he ran and the truck kind of, he left the truck and went into the grocery store then. I don't know. It was great. All of it. Even though it's jumbled up, it was fantastic. <laughs> well, anyways, he gets inside. He passes, his, yeah. He, yeah, gets he gets in the car with his wife. Car. And then he's telling her, like, they're fighting. But then, actually, that was kind of funny. Like, so as they're fighting, he's telling her which way to go. <laughs> he was, and he was so nice about it, yeah. too. Like, it's like, because you, like, they were married. They were together. Yeah. So he, like, they're fighting. He's like, oh, I'll make a left here, honey. Yeah. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then it turns out he's giving her directions to, to the diapers. So that yep. was pretty funny. I, I loved how, like, they were able to keep track. And about both of them. It's like she knew. To pick them up here, right. they knew this. It's it's it all came together perfectly. I'm breaking everything. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm, I'm very hands. I'm very Italian. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I was about to go really <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> one of those Family Guy things. Boobity boppity. Yeah, boobity boppity. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, fine. Well, everyone, boobity boppity. <laughs> oh God! Adi, adi, adi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's about at this point where <laughs> you're a horrible human being. Go back a couple weeks. Time to kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that episode, right? Time to kill. Time, time, to, yeah, time to kill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man, uh, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's funny is funny. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, you're not wrong there. It's um, funny. <clears throat> so I believe it's the next day, and John Goodman and his cohort they're talking about robbing. Or what is it? They want to rob. Where do they want to rob? The bank. Yeah, that's right. Oh, because all, oh, yeah, all, yeah. all the farmers yes. are getting their subsidies. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. So they're talking about. Yeah. So they're talking about that whole plot and everything. And then. Oh, but something that I noticed. So. Uh, John Goodman is grabbing stuff out of the fridge and uh, he grabs a six pack, but then he puts it in his mouth. There's only like a few beers in it. Right. Yeah. There's three of the six pack. Uh, yeah. But. So that's clearly a John Goodman actor's choice because he does that same exact move as Dan Connor. Yeah, he does. I remember yeah. it. Spe- I'm like, I'm like, yeah, like, now that you say it, yeah, he does. Do- uh-huh. Yeah, huh. yeah. I mean, it was noteworthy enough for me to write a note. Yeah, so it was pretty great. <clears throat> but yeah, so yeah, so they. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so they're talking about this plot to rob the bank, uh, and they're tr- they're trying to t- talk Nick Cage into doing it and he's kind of hesitant Mm -hmm. yeah and i think they oh edwina herbert yeah okay (laughs) that's where i finally caught on to what their names were um he knew it's at that point he knew like i can't be here anymore because like we're like even though like we love each other we're just not good together (gasps) Because yes. they're, they're both too, um, what's the word? They're just two different people. <laughs> well, no, 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 because they're, no, they're so similar in how they, how they are. They're both, they react like that mm. during situations and they can't be together because of that. They said, like, that's what his, his thinking behind it. Mm-hmm. Like we're so similar that no one's here to say, Hey, stop and think about that. They mm. both just react. Right. So that's why that's why he starts writing the note saying, yes, I, oh, I can't, yeah, yeah. you know, don't be. I still love you. I'm, I got to leave. Blah, blah, blah. You know, t- peace, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I believe it cuts to the scene where <clears throat> Leonard Smalls. Wait, that was a very articulate letter he wrote her too. like that. Not articulate, but it was like it was so well written. But and then you like know his character. Yeah. 
And you're like, the guy's an idiot, but he writes this fantastic right. letter to her. And I know it's movie. I know it's <laughs> it's what it's for. But it's just like, he, he should have been kind of like a little more dumber. You know, yeah. maybe like a sticker or two, like a scratch and sniff or something. <laughs> I don't know. He's not, yeah, whatever. We're buying it. Nah, not really. <laughs> uh, it cuts to the biker guy. And mm-hmm. I believe he's talking to, oh, he has, wait, is he talking to the FBI guys? Or is he talking to no? I think Nathan. He, that's when he goes to Nathan. Yes. yes. Yeah, because he's like, I know you contacted the FBI, the police, and everything, but you need an outlaw to catch an outlaw. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't yep. he say like Leonard Small's baby hunter or something? Yeah. Like, or it sounds a lot more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like he hunts baby. I, I, I just, I just love how he like he, he what. He's in the office. He's in Nathan's office. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's like, I think you got flies. Yes. And Nathan's like, we don't have flies. Climate control. Yeah. Like sealed windows. And then they do their whole, like, I could find your baby for yes. you. Yep. And then he's like trying to negotiate because there's a $25,000 reward mm-hmm. for the baby back. <laughs> baby back, baby back. And <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, so he's trying to negotiate to get like more. He's like, well, you know, I mean, I can find your baby. No problem. But it's going to cost you more. Right. And Nathan's like, that's the set. He's like, well, maybe I'll find your baby and I'm going to give it back. Yeah. Type thing. Yeah. And that's when he's like, I'll call the police right now. So Nathan looks down because called the police. He comes up. He's gone. gone. <laughs> Ogre's Which, that's gone. a big guy. Like, hey, you hey. not hear that guy leave. He's an outlaw. You, yes. You okay. are. Yes. I'm glad I got that straight. Uh, I also feel like <laughs> he had a weird accent. Um, I think all of them. I yeah, think were, I think they were told do accents. You, you, you <laughs> doesn't matter where you're hear, from. Just yeah, do an yeah. accent. You here do like a more of a southern. You decide what you want to do, and then you do these. I think yeah. that's what they were told because uh, everyone has one. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what's his name? Leonard Smalls. Yeah. Yes. I feel like his accent is the exact same voice as like when uh, Kevin Smith does a character. On a smodcast, like just like a generic, like I don't know, there's just the yeah. way he talks, or just very, like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of gruff and yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, I so, just want to talk a lot, like I don't know, there's something <laughs> yeah. I liked him. Um, so then it's back to their trailer home yeah. or whatever, and uh, Ed's no, I'm sorry, oh no, Ed, that's the guy's name, the foreman, Ed. Was that his name? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so he finds out that the baby is Nathan Actually, Jr. Yeah, yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. <clears throat> yeah, because go ahead, go ahead. I'm so excited. <laughs> no. Why? What were you gonna say? No, because I I love this part of the movie. I I love it because when Nicolas Cage he comes out and so he steps out of the door and Ed the man the foreman yep. is by his car and then he. He takes one step out of his house, and that already flies back to his car. He freaks out. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. Nick's going to come punch him. And then Nick's like, like hey, oh, hey. Yeah. And then the guy's like, you, uh, you're fired. He's like, well, I figured. Yeah. Like, he's just Yo, so, right. like, like, there's no sense of urgency in this entire movie. There's none. And I love <clears throat> that. Right. And the one, the one thing that kind of confused me. So, oh, because uh, from him running into the... Uh, Cactus. Yeah. Uh, he has like a neck brace and stuff like that. So Ed is not happy and he yells at him, You'll be getting my doctor bill in yeah. the mail. Be sure to pay it. Yeah. <laughs> so how would that even work? Why would the like so like you're at the doctor, like, oh, just send my doctor bill to yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. No, you have to pay this fucking doctor yeah, bill. I'm not gonna yeah, send it to this yeah, random yeah. guy. So like that line really kind of confused me. <laughs> the 80s were weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I believe it's shortly after the fight scene between well, because he's like I because he's yelling like his two hooligan friends are still in their house in yeah. their trailer yes and then so he's like I know who it's Nathan Jr. I, I was gonna get the reward but I'd rather like you whatever and then so you're just like okay that was a cool scene and then Nick Cage turns around and he sees yes. the blinds. He was the guys were looking through the blinds and the guys like, well, the blinds. And he's like, OK, <laughs> Nick Cage walks back in and John Goodman's like, it's just business partner. Yeah. Because they're taking the baby. Yes. They're taking the baby. Yes. And the, one of the best fight scenes in all of cinematic history S- takes place. So <laughs> much yelling. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so, You kind of feel like Nick Cage is like. Winning at the beginning, 
It's because it's not really like a fight. <laughs> You know it's what not I mean? real, right. yeah, correct. <laughs> no, but no, you see, like in the movies, you they they could do fights, and it looks like really authentic, a real fight. All right, you could. They, they were just horsing around. Yeah. They were just playing, and it, but it's, it makes it so great because Nick Cage is on his back. He's like got his <clears throat> finger in his mouth. Yeah, like, <laughs> fish and there's like an angle where you just see like these feet just <laughs> yeah. swinging yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a circular motion. Yep. But then, oh. so for me, because I, like I said, like every episode, I try to find that, uh, that Nick Cage moment. Mm. So that, <laughs> yes. that scene where he's lying on the floor, <laughs> yelling. Well, he, he's, he's like trying to, because t- he finally, John, like John Goodman, he throws him through the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So the, the, no, the wall, he goes through the wall into the bathroom, because that's where the other guy's hiding with the baby. Remember? Yes. So John Goodman's partner is in there. He's like scared. He's got this like scared face, like holding the baby, making sure the baby's okay. Nick Cage is thrown through the wall and then they tie him up. So Nick Cage is tied up. He's trying to break free. So he's going, not making any noise. He's trying to get free. And then he falls to the side. <clears throat> Somebody walks in, grabs the Dr. Spock, how to raise a baby book, yes. which goes around everywhere. <clears throat> yes. Grabs that book, leaves. That's when... Go ahead, the it. Yeah, you could say it. Oh, I don't even, I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, you said it's the, the Nick Cage part. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah, yeah and he, does the, he does the batshit crazy scream. He's like, ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> what's next? So then, uh, oh, during the fight. When Nicholas Cage, there's a point where he went to like go like this with his hands or something, and he rubs his hands on the popcorn ceiling. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he like he goes really just stretches, and then John Goodman goes to throw a punch, and he like goes like this, and his elbow goes yeah. to like yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. They're, they're like yeah, oh. it's just poor aim at that. Oh, it's point. so yeah. good, it's so good. <clears throat> um, that now that's when they're on their way. So even though they're gonna get the twenty five thousand dollar reward for turning the baby and these two guys, they still are gonna go rob the bank. <clears throat> right. So that they're on the way to rob the bank. Yep. And that they go in there, they have their guns ready, and Wait. then they say free. Hold on. Oh, oh my Wait. god. <laughs> Is it? Oh, the the biker. Okay. And it goes to the biker. Remember the biker shows up at this place. What place? And the cages place, they're all gone already. Yes. But then, oh, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. I remember he's scanning and he just sees farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's actually funny. Yeah. Yeah. That made me chuckle. I think that's when I really lost it. But wait, somewhere I wrote that Nick Cage is dressed like Ace Ventura. You mean besides the whole movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had his I think I it was at the end he was dressed like that. But wait, so is it is it after or before the bank robbery? Where, oh, no, 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 where they stop at the convenience store, the two guys, and the, or the, the one guy, the one guy is in there, not John Goodman. Oh, yeah, the other guy, yeah. And they're looking around. Oh, cause that, are they trying to get stuff for the baby or well, something? He, they're, or? they're riding with the baby. Oh, because the baby shits itself. The baby shits itself. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He goes in, and he was so nice to the guy behind the counter. Yes. He's like, do you know how to work these diapers? Oh, yes. Yeah. And the guy's like. He's like, was there pins or fasteners? The guy's like, it's a pretty soap explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he like, there's like, like balloons. Yes, and that's the one that made me like. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and he goes, he goes to the, <laughs> he goes. <laughs> Such a good line. It's such like, a good line. It's like, do these? <laughs> it's not that funny. But. I know, but it's just, it's just something about it. Oh. <laughs> It's really not that funny, um, but you're laughing. So no, yeah, no. I, he goes, "Hey, do these balloons blow into funny shapes?" And the old guy goes, "Well, no, unless round is funny." Oh, and then instead of paying for the stuff, yeah, he just he's like, "Get down and count to 850." Yes. yes, he's like, "I'll be back in five minutes." So you're still counting. He's like, "I don't know if I'm gonna be back though." Yeah. I'm like, it might, it might be. <coughs> So they leave, and then all of a sudden they realize they left the baby behind. Because uh-huh. when you see, he puts the baby on top of the car. Yes. Yeah. That's the last time you see it, because on the next scene, they're driving. Yep. So as far as we know, the baby was on top of the car when they left. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. And then <laughs> lots of yelling. Lots of <laughs> yeah. yelling. Uh, so they go back, and yeah, they grab the baby. Well. And while they go back, the guy's counting. He's at like 700. Yeah. yeah. He's like, and he gets like 720. He's like, 
fuck this. Yeah. He gets up, he looks out the window, and he's just like, I'm coming yeah. back. Yeah. And he gets back he down and counting. starts counting. <laughs> yep. So they go, they grab the baby, and then they... And they love the baby. Yes. Everyone, oh, everyone that like sees this baby falls in love with the baby. Mm-hmm. It's like, we have to be with this baby forever. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so they just, they get to the bank, and they get inside the bank, and they go, everyone freeze, drop down <laughs> on the ground. And the old guy's like, well, what's one? Because they don't listen. Yeah, yeah they don't listen. Right. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're like, well, what is it? We can't freeze and drop down to the ground. And they're like, well, get on the ground. And then, yeah, which was the line we talked about earlier. Yeah. And we're just like, like, where are the tellers going? They're like, you told us to drop down yeah. on the ground. And you don't see him. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty funny. Oh. <clears throat> um, so... And they and instead of leaving the baby in the car yeah. or robbing the bank, they bring the baby in with them. <clears throat> yes, because they yes. their mind it was like it was hot. Yeah, well, yeah, they don't want to leave the baby in the car because they didn't want the baby like yeah, right. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. So once again, they leave the baby. So they, they leave the bank. They take all the money. Mm-hmm. They leave the bank. Well, what remember? When they, she's the 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 teller's putting the money and she grabs this the paint bomb. Yeah. Yes. yes. Now, she does it so just, like, casually, like, takes it, mm-hmm. looks at it, it stops, she holds it for a few, and then, then puts it in. Yeah. So, it's like, like, if it was a, I know it's a movie, <laughs> it's just like, that was very unrealistic. <laughs> Raising Arizona, <laughs> very unrealistic. But that fight was super yeah. realistic. It was fantastic. Um, I, I, so, yeah, this, things like that just stand out to me as weird. Really grinds your gears. It really does. Um. So they leave the bank. They leave the baby behind again. Yep. And then <laughs> the paint bomb. Yes. The paint bomb. <laughs> the paint bomb goes off and they realize that they left behind the baby. There's lots of yelling. They're again. screaming and they're trying to wipe the paint off yes. the windows, but it just doesn't does nothing. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden doesn't like uh, he's able to get a part clear. Yes. And then a, he sees a car coming towards him. Yes. And that's when it's uh, the biker. No, it wasn't the biker. No. It was Nick. It was yeah. it was Nick Cage, right? Yeah, it was with, high. With, was yeah, it? it was high with Ed. Yeah, because I, I, oh, that's right, it was high with Ed because they stop and they're like, "Where's the baby?" Where she's like, "Where's the baby? Where's the baby?" And they're both freaking out, like, oh, "We left him back there." Blah, 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 all this <coughs> stuff, and then they uh, they're like, "Oh, okay." They get back in, and then that's when John Goodman and the other guys just like, "Bring us with you. We love him." Yes. <laughs> they're like, "Please," yeah, because they want to make sure the baby's okay. Right. No one wants the baby hurt. Even though these people are horrible, yeah, no one wants the baby hurt, right? You know, so that's why they're so great. So when they're going to grab the baby, they're going one way down the highway, and then that biker biker. guy is the other way, yeah. And biker guy just scoops up the baby, right? Puts it right (laughs) on the bike, yeah. Yeah. It fits perfectly too. It snaps right in, yeah. (laughs) Of course, (laughs) good thing you got that baby attachment. Exactly, (laughs) lucky guy. Baby, he's a baby hunter, so he might already have that attachment. Absolutely makes sense. So then, eventually, where do they end up? To where they, to where they get in the, the fight. Uh, right there, because they were still by the bank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So he look because there's. I forgot how. Oh, it's because so he gets the baby and he drives one way. He shoots a shotgun in the front of Ed and uh, High's car. Mm-hmm. They duck down and miss that <clears throat> shotgun blast. He turns around to shoot him again. So he shoots him again. They duck down from that one. So they're okay. Then then Nick Cage is still in the car. But then Ed gets out and she just walks right up to him. Yes. She doesn't care that he has shot him. She doesn't care about anything. She goes up, she grabs Nathan Jr. out of there and she lets him, gives him the business, walks away. That's when Ogre and High fight. That's when that fight was. It's pretty great. And there's there's something that happens to where something happens to the biker to where like he like, growls like a bear. <laughs> he gets like the weirdest like yeah. overdone yeah. moment. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, because remember when the, okay before this all happened, they were driving up and Nick Cage. She's like, do you see? Like, Ed is like, you see that biker? Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he's like, you see him too. Yeah, oh, that was yeah, the guy from his dream. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, um, so they're uh, they're fighting. Yeah, and then like that weird bear growl thing happens, and then there's something to where he's chasing him, 
And then Ed is waiting around the corner with like a board and like hits him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then at some point when they're tussling, where Nick Cage and the biker are tussling around, he because the biker has like uh, well because Nick Cage punched him a, like a few times. It did really nothing yeah, to him. Yeah, right. And then he punched Nick Cage like. A bunch of times, and then Nick Cage starts crawling under the truck to try to get away. <clears throat> right. The guy pulls him out. That's when the bear hug happens. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But then, did you guys know it was like the crazy, like weird, wonky eye that Nick Cage would do, like when he would get hit? <laughs> no. He's like, he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he like had like a big sour ball or something. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So yeah, when the bear, yeah. So the biker has like this bandolier. Is that the word bandolier? Yeah, Sounds right. right. Of uh, grenades. Yeah. So while the bear hug's happening, Nick Cage pulls one of the pins mm-hmm. and then biker throws Nick Cage to the ground and he's like, Ugh. he like shows yeah. him the pin and well, he goes, I'm so sorry to the guy. He's on the ground holding the pin. Yeah. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And then he looks down, he notices yeah. that it's not, and he tries to take it off and yeah. it's too late. Yeah. Did anyone else laugh really hard when the yes. biker exploded? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I was, and like, I just put it, LOL at the biker blowing yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't like I, a random foot hit the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, say, I love how the foot just lands there smoking. <laughs> I had a pretty good chuckle at that. <laughs> so then, uh, it's there they they return. They go back to the Arizona's place. Yeah, they go back, and this is when they realize. This one, she's like, she's sort of driving back. And this one, she's like, we can't be together. Oh, right, 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 like, right. It's like, we're just not good for each other. We're both the same. We're, there's n- neither one of us has the stop. Let's think about this. Yeah. Mentality. This is not just who they are. And so that's when they go back up and they <coughs> sneak back through the window. Yeah. yeah. To put Nathan Jr. back. Yep. And then Nathan comes in the door and he sees him there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, he's like, well, how'd you get in here? And they're yeah. like, oh, at first, like, oh, we we're returning the baby from the biker. Yeah. 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 He's like, oh, OK. He's like, well, you know, let me give you a reward. Yeah. And yeah. Cage is like, yeah, fuck yeah. Let's yeah, take yeah. it. This and will she, solve all my problems. Yeah. And she's like, nope, no, no yeah. reward. Yeah. She's like, just let me look at him. Yeah. Some more. And, he, and the, the guy's like, well, I mean, I could always give you a line of credit down yeah. at the store. Yeah. Instead of paying him the money, he's just he, trying. And she's like, oh, why? He's like, we can go that way, too, if you don't yeah. want a reward. Yeah. Right. And it's like, oh, this guy's a dick. <laughs> So then she all, she all she wanted, which is to spend a few more minutes with right. him. She just wanted to look at Nathan Jr. Just a little bit more. So then that's where Nathan kind of realizes like, oh, it was, you guys. It was those two. Yeah. yeah. And, and, they're, and they're both like, you know, we're really sorry. And they, they explained that she thought she was, um, is barren. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's when Nathan is just like, you know, he, he kind of feels for him. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know, you stole my kid. <laughs> that's not very nice. But here's some advice. Yeah. And tell us about how, like, they had trouble having kids. Right. And the only reason that they have five is because of the fertility drugs. Mm-hmm. Yes. And stuff. And he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, we're inspecting five. Mm-hmm. You know, we wanted a kid, but he's like, just wait for the, he's like, and he gives like, keep on trying. Keep yep. on trying. Just wait for medical science to catch up. You guys can have it. Yeah. And that's when they're both standing there and just like, yeah. wow, this guy is. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe we should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should be such simpletons. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um. So then they go back. So, you know, whatever they. It's, yeah, he leaves. He actually, I think he left and left them there. Yeah. And he's so like, like, oh, he's like, yeah, just make just, sure you leave yeah. the same way you came yeah, back in. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Is this the dream? Yeah. So All this right. is, yeah, this is where, yeah, Nick Cage is having a dream about his future. Yeah. And he's yeah. kind of reflecting, like, he's like, oh, he pictures him and Ed, you know. Uh, well, there was the, before that was the Nathan Jr. Like I like he had he, oh, he, yeah. he pictured like <clears throat> like from like the sidelines like having pride and cheering Nathan Junior on yep. and there's the part when Nathan Junior is playing football and mm-hmm. just takes off the helmet and he's got a sick mullet and I <laughs> loved it I wrote down <laughs> hey, where is it um yeah. Nathan Jr. sick mullet. Oh man, it was fantastic. And he's just like manhandling. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. There's like 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 three people trying to tackle him. He's just like yeah, <laughs> like that. Oh, it was so good. Uh, and then like it's you know it fast like, forwards to like them as yeah. like old folks mm-hmm. and like yeah. all the kids. But you don't see them, right? You it's, it's from their point of view yeah. seeing. And yeah. he's like, oh, he's like, look at this. We we're gonna have like we could have kids. Yeah, we could like. And there was tons of kids. Lots of kids. Yeah, yeah just took. And I loved like their spread. 
like the, the, the breadsticks they had, like those like actual like crunchy like skinny breadsticks, <laughs> celery with peanut butter, oh. <laughs> celery with peanut butter. On yeah, it. It's just like oh man, I'd love to eat that. And that and that I believe it goes to the credits, which ends with more yodeling. Yep. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, and that's raising Arizona. Yeah. How long have we been talking? Uh, hour and ten. I was gonna say. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was. There was it's so Thursday. Well, no. there was so much to cover because like right. so much yelling. <laughs> well, it, it, does, it it goes from one thing to another. There's no like lasting. The the thing that lasted the most was the chase with the diapers. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it was jumping from one thing to another. Correct. There was no like pause or anything. It was a very fast yeah, pace. I think the movie was an hour and thirty, right? Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Yeah. Which is about right. That's yeah. Sounds decent, good. Good time. You didn't feel like you were like, oh come on, let's go. It was perfect. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was 94 minutes. Uh, Hour 34. <laughs> <laughs> budget was about $6 million. Uh, any guesses for the uh, box office? It did well. I'll say, I'll say, say $20 million. Eh, 50. <laughs> 30. <laughs> 30 million. Oh. 29.2 million. You would lose in the prices, right? You know what? I don't care. Because I would stupid now. I like winning. What now? Why? Yeah, I'm not. I don't want Drew Carey to be the Prices Right guy. I want the is Bob Barker dead. The Spain no, guy he's still alive. is that Bob oh, Barker? He's still alive. Yeah. yeah, I want him. Drew Carey's all right. I guess so. Cleveland doesn't rock. Drew Carey. <laughs> wow. Actually, no. Cleveland doesn't rock. <laughs> I know. Rock. Uh, to all our fans in Cleveland, you guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Any other factoids? Yes. No. Um, so, do you think this movie would have been better or worse if instead of Nicolas Cage as a high, it would have been Kevin Costner? No. No, I think... Uh, no, because I wrote... After I one, after Kevin Costner. <laughs> after the movie, I wrote, they knew he was crazy. Oh. The Coen brothers saw Nicolas Cage in his other roles, <laughs> and they're like, we need that crazy. That's the perfect fit I for what we're doing. I think all right. Uh, I've seen The Postman. Never seen The Postman. He uh, just... He kind of acts a little weird in that too, but like Kevin Costner Robin does. Decent, actually. I, don't, I can't say that. I saw it a long time ago. Yeah, I, I, I know it could. I'm sure it would have been fine. Field of Dreams is good, mm-hmm. but could he have played that kind of character? That's the thing. A southern I, crazy yeah. ex con. I don't think Kevin Costner could. Like, I'm sure he he would have done a fine you know job. What? But Nicolas Cage, <clears throat> that's just who he is. I think if Kevin Costner did it, it would have been. It would have been more of a classic. It would have made fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's a classic. It is. But I, I think it would have yeah. been more so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. You're right. I'm <laughs> right. Uh, according to Ethan Cohen, Nicholas Cage was crazy about his Woody Woodpecker haircut, and that it re- reacted to High's stress level. So the bigger the danger he's in, the bigger the wave in his hair gets. Oh. I noticed that. Yeah, the hair. What was the deal? Um, the biker Nick Cage both had the same tattoo. I didn't catch the. Oh, oh really? No, I. I okay. The reference, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that but means. I don't know if they were. Yeah, explained it. Like, was that? Oh, so was I, that Nick Cage I, in the future? Was that? I, I wrote a note where I thought that was. I I thought that was gonna be like Nathan Junior in the future. Like oh. coming back or well, something. I, I, I had a feeling it was a future type yeah. thing. That's what I thought. It was no, a future I didn't thing. Get that vibe no. At all. no, no, well. To each of our own. Mm. <laughs> I kind of didn't know. Oh, I don't think yeah. that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Lock <Hey, box>. baby. <laughs> uh, let's see. The relationship between Nicolas Cage and the Coen brothers was respectful, but turbulent. Uh, I guess Nicolas Cage would give a lot of like advice and suggestions. Oh, and boy. the Coen hey, brothers would just ignore it all the time. He's, uh, <laughs> he's uh, a star at this point. Yeah. He did. He did a time to kill. Yes. Yes, he did. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. What, we already did that. We already did that. Oh, and then this kind of makes me laugh. Um, Sam McMurray, which I forget who that was in this movie. Sam McMurray. Oh, uh, Glenn. So high supervisor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess Sam McMurray and Nicolas Cage went out to eat at a diner during the filming of this. And uh, an excited female fan came over the table and, you know, 
was all excited, whatever. Uh, she couldn't decide if the man she was looking at was really Nick Cage. Uh, when she was finally convinced that it was him, she asked him for an autograph, which makes sense. That's what yeah. you do. And Nicholas Cage wrote on the napkin, tomorrow you will die. Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's on par. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I mean, that would be kind of cool, though, to have a... Yeah, that would be yeah, sweet to own that yeah. napkin. Yeah, I'd like oh, that. Yeah. Check eBay. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, would you recommend this movie, Christopher? Mm, okay, so... No, I would not. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you guys once we stop filming on Vimeo. Someone cut together all the yelling clips. Oh, my God. It's got to be, like, be like 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how long, yeah. Is that, how long is the movie? 94 minutes. So <laughs> yeah. the clip is probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah I'd show people that. And then that's that, mm-hmm. that's all people need to see. Bram Bram. Yes. I loved this movie. Loved. I. Uh, it's because it's it's so Nicolas Cage. It's like if you want if you want to know Nicolas Cage, like his craziness oh. and just how insane he is, this is a perfect one to see. I'm not. You're saying, not gonna feel that way after Vampire's Kiss. But okay. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I just he, it's a, it was. I thought it was well done. Like it told it started with a story. It gave you everything in the story and it ended per, it ended great. Like there was an ending. Like of course the story is you know, beginning, middle, end, but it did a good job doing it. Like you, you felt, yeah. you felt like, like I want to know what's going to happen. Even though it was goofy and ridiculous, there was just because John Goodman with his like poking it high, mm-hmm. like, Oh, your wife, like she's right. the one in charge. Like that was a, that was great. The John Goodman's partner, he was a little dopey, but like, he just, it was just like, like, I don't know. Just the certain they had the, each person had like their part to play and they played it great. Mm-hmm. And I, thought, I just thought it was, I, I really liked it. I think I would love to see this movie without accents. Just the actors, just <laughs> the act, talking. I, I, I think the accents like kind of make it cause it, it's just, I don't know. I don't, yeah, know, I don't no. to explain. <laughs> I don't know. I recommend it. How about you? I, I would recommend it, but uh, man, you got to be in a certain mood. Yes. Oh, if you're like grumpy or like, <laughs> no, no, if you're in a bad mood and like, you're just like, uh, whatever, don't watch this. But yeah. if you're in a mood, like a goofy mood, like you're right. silly, silly or like you're with friends and you're like, yeah, you're, say, you're say, having some beers, you know, it's yeah. a little like, a little Bros like, night, let's yeah, watch yeah, yeah, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? No, like, I just like, oh, it's fun. <laughs> Tiny Tim. <laughs> oh, tiptoe. <laughs> but yeah, I'd recommend it. So that'll do it for this episode. We mm-hmm. still don't know how to end these, so we <laughs> will see. <laughs> 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 bye bye.